I'm headed down from the bay, and I have just one more D1 football field I got to try to walk on. San Jose State, let's check out Spartan Country. If you couldn't tell already, San Jose State's entire athletic complex is contained within this giant gate right by this pretty big intersection. It's the same way down this way too. And looking around, quite honestly, it doesn't feel like we're anywhere close to a college campus. But there is very much all sorts of college fields inside of here. Let's head towards the center of it this way. And as we're passing by, got a shout out where I parked. $4 all day parking, that's the best in the biz. After walking like 300 feet, we have our first chance at a gate that's big time locked up. And another couple hundred feet down, we have another gate that's also gonna be locked. Right across the street from where I'm at now though, we're seeing our first fields that look kinda open. We have a few people playing soccer right here. And right behind that, there's this huge netting that almost looks like a top golf. I actually have to walk a little closer to this thing to figure out what it is. Yup, San Jose State, Spartan Golf Complex. Pretty nice setup in here. Happy I walked over here too, because it looks like across the street, we also have a minor league ballpark. I don't think you can put this sign up if you're not an affiliate of the Giants. San Jose Giants, single A affiliate of the San Francisco Giants. There's a lot of really big names on this wall. Not surprising, but the Giants do really send everyone through here. First minor league baseball inclusion on the walk-on challenge. We'll take it. Turning in here feels a little bit more promising. Let's see what's going on. Oh yeah, right up here, that's what you like to see. Right next to this blocked off car entrance, we have a propped open human entrance. I think this got left open for a youth soccer thing that a few people are walking up to in front of me. Now that we're in, it seems pretty open around here. This section of the complex has soccer, beach volleyball, and a little bit of tennis over here too. We can walk onto the soccer field to get another quick shot over here too. All the soccer players I saw walked right past the soccer field though. I'm pretty curious where they're playing. I honestly wouldn't doubt it's on the football field. Let's follow this group again and see if it takes us where I think it will. Walking down here to the right, we have the football practice fields that also it seems like nobody is using right now. Softball is right next to it this way too, but that's the first place I've seen that I can't immediately find my way inside. So that really just takes us to the football stadium right here, SefQ Stadium. And as predicted, the gate's wide open and I've seen a bunch of people walk in. Yup, here's the field right here. And we walked right into the middle of a soccer camp. I have never seen an event like this on an FBS field, but it's cool. Props to San Jose State for exposing the youth to the best you have to offer. There's a pretty interesting seating setup that a lot of the parents are at right now. Let's get a view from there. Here's a close up of a couple of these setups. These ones have actually been reserved to raise awareness for epilepsy. And right here, we got a view of the field from some premium seats. They just started letting these kids warm up and they're moving pretty well. I also have terrible coordination, so I'm very easily impressed. Let's take a few more notes and get out of everybody's way. Up here is the San Jose State Legends with Jeff Garcia being the most notable player to me. San Jose State also commemorates Bill Walsh and Pop Warner, despite each of them only coaching one season here. And Pop Warner wasn't a head coach, he was just an assistant. We have some barbecue at concessions heading on the concourse this way. Here's a view of the other side of the stadium with a great view of the California Hills in the distance. I'm pretty confident that San Jose State is the only FBS school that only has bleachers on one side of the stadium. This right here also might lead to some boxes. I don't want to get too crazy with hundreds of people here, but I'll give it a shot. And we actually got the first suite that we saw. Perfect. This is actually a nice little setup for a G5 school. And we have a whole bunch more indoor and outdoor through here. Bowl games are placked up right here. None of them are for the Blockbuster Bowl, but they all look like they're for the Blockbuster Bowl. Along here, we have this elegant style railing that's kind of cool, but it's also pretty inconsistent as it only covers parts of the stadium. This just feels like the type of thing you gotta fully commit to around the stadium or not at all. I think that's all for me here. Enjoy camp, everybody. San Jose State, appreciate y'all.